Hey guys, welcome in. Uh, today we're going to do some salmon and we're going to do some au gratin potatoes on the smoker and then we're also going to do us some steamed broccoli. Uh, we'll probably use a little bit of that brisket rub on the broccoli and then we will use some of the Captain Awesome Spice Rub, put that in with the au gratin potatoes, kick them up a notch. Slice up our potatoes. The thinner you slice them, the faster they cook, obviously. Uh, I'm going to show you a little trick how we're going to get them to be done a little bit quicker so we don't have to wait so long. I've rinsed and washed and cleaned these, but I may actually rinse and wash them one more time after we get them sliced. Just to make sure you get all the dirt and filth off of them. I mean, they are root. So. And then we'll season them, get our cheese in them, and we'll do our gratin potatoes on the smoker. So a quick tip that I learned from a chef friend of mine in Texas is to go ahead and boil the potatoes for a little bit. We'll go ahead and get them on the, on the stove. Even though we're going to bake them, we're going to put them in the smoker. We boil them for about five to ten minutes to get them started cooking. And then you blanch them in cold water. And that way it doesn't take as long to finish them out, out on the smoker. Alright, <clears throat> and then we'll Chop up our head of broccoli into florets. Actually, you can just pull these apart mostly pretty easily. Cut that stock down and prep these. And what we'll do with these, we'll steam these. Or we may boil them. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what I decide when we get there. And then I go ahead and chop these up, chop the, chop the stalks up, because it's still just as good. I mean, it's still broccoli, so chop them into smaller pieces, throw them in with the forks. Waste not, want not. And we'll do both. And if you want, you know, you can chop these. Just depends on how you want to do your broccoli. Um, for me, I kind of like the larger florets, but you can cut them down if you want. Or once you break them off, you can just chop them. I don't do the leaves, so I'll take those off. a little bit and that's you can chop them down like that if you like said if you don't want the larger floor to just cut some of the stems off chop them down smaller chop it in half just like that all right so we're going to get our broccoli uh ready to go so what we got we got our double boiler we're going to use the same pot that we used for the potatoes but we cleaned it out put fresh water in it we don't want to reuse the water we use to boil potatoes in we get these guys in, get our broccoli in there. We want to season it up. So I'm going to use the Captain Awesome's uh, brisket, simply brisket rub. Um, this is my personal bottle. Not the, not the size of the bottle that you guys get when you buy them online, but put all that on there. It'll make a bit of a mess. It's fine. <clears throat> okay. Makes a mess. Like I said, it's all right. We'll wipe up the counter when we're done here. No big deal. Get this on here, get it set up, get him on here, set in, turn it on, get it cooking, we'll get the water to boil. This will steam, probably take about 10 minutes once the steam starts 
we'll get the lid on it, get this guy going. So here's our potatoes. As soon as we took them off uh, the boil, we put in nice cold water on them, blanch them, get them to stop cooking basically right there. We don't want them to keep cooking. Um, they'll get too, too soft. Uh, but now we're gonna add butter. Cube it, cut it small. Whatever, it's gonna melt obviously in the smoker under the heat. And then we're gonna add about a cup of shredded cheese. This is a uh, Monterey Jack cheddar cheese blend. Get that in there. Okay, the other thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put some sour cream in it. So I just use Daisy sour cream, regular sour cream. Stir it up real good couple of heaping tablespoons full there and then I use that spoon to stir it up stir it in get the cheese and cream and butter in here get this mixed up really well we have more butter if we need it the other thing we're gonna add we're gonna do the cabin awesome Spicy barbecue rub. Kick these potatoes up a notch. Give them a little bit of a little bit of zing to them. They'll be au gratin, but they'll be a spicy au gratin. Get stirred in real good. Okay. Get it mixed up real good, we get that on the smoker. So here's our salmon. Uh, all it has on it right now is a garlic salt and a little bit of cracked black pepper. We're gonna use this. We've got uh, about a tablespoon of lemon juice. You wanna pour on, kinda try and pour it down the middle so it'll run across all of the meat. And you can add more if you like more. Just depends on how much lemon flavor you like. Get it to spread a little bit. And then I've got some garlic or not some garlic, sorry. And then I've got some mozzarella and uh, shredded parm. We're gonna put that on here just to top it up. There we go. Just like that. Okay, and then we'll get this guy out on the smoker. So it's important when you are gonna use the smoker to go ahead and get the smoker prepped early get it going, get that smoke built up, get that temperature ready before you have anything ready to go in it. The, uh, as you can see here, we have the uh, temperature set. I have it set on smoke, that's the S for smoke. It's running at about 230 degrees temperature. Uh, we're gonna bump it up a bit because we are just gonna smoke some uh, potatoes in this. We're not trying to do a low and slow uh, meat cook, but we're gonna definitely do these uh, au gratin potatoes in here. So we're gonna bump it up probably about 300, 350. So as you can see, we just put the uh, salmon in here with the aluminum foil and then there's our potatoes as they're going in here as well and what i'm going to do is i'm going to close down this salmon a little bit i still got to get plenty of smoke flavor but i don't want it to i don't want it to blacken anything any of that cheese or anything so we'll close it up just a little bit nice and soft like that and we'll let it go all right guys so come out here and take a look Pull this back, go ahead and let this guy finish out. It's all been on here about, see this guy's been on here about 15 minutes. He'll probably go for another five minutes, 10 minutes at max. These guys have been on here for probably about 20, 25 minutes and we'll let them go another 10 as well. And then we should be ready to eat. All right, there's our finished product. Our smoked salmon is done. Take a nice cut out of that filet. nice flavor to it we'll plate that up here's our side dishes we have our steamed broccoli with the simply brisket rub on it simply texas brisket rub on it and over here we have the smoked au gratin potatoes which has the captain awesome spicy barbecue rub on it um, i like to finish this off put a little bit of fresh green onion on top just to give it some color and there we go
Click that up. We're ready to eat.